Hi, in this video, we're going to make what you see on the screen right now. Let's jump into it. Let's see what happens when we make this into a module. So we go to the index and we take the sketch, we make a type module and we save. And whoops, nothing works. Let's look at the console and we have no errors. Why don't we have any errors? If nothing works, this doesn't make any sense. Or does it? Well, then action makes a lot of sense. The problem is, we have created a module, and when a JavaScript is included as a module, it can't be seen from the outside. If you go to the sketch, P5, when it's initialized, looks for the setup function, and it looks for the draw function. It also looks for other kind of functions, but the main part here is it's looking for it. And when it looks into this file, it can't see anything because now it's a module and you can't see a module from the outside. One way to get around this is kind of a hack. And I'm not suggesting you use this unless you just want to get something done very fast. And it's like this. Take the window and say window setup equal setup. And say window draw equal draw. And we save, it works again. What we did, what I did here was, this is the top and I just assigned setup to it. And I told it, it was setup. So when P5 is looking for something, it's looking for this. And when it finds this, it's going over to the setup that I'm telling it it is. So that's a very fast way to get it working again. It's not truly the way it should be done. And I'll show you a different way to do it. And in here, we have to use the instances that P5 provides. And it's quite a lot different. And we have to make quite a lot of changes. First, we need to make quite a lot of changes to the ball. And we also make quite a lot of changes to the sketch. So let's do the sketch first. We could do something like this. var sketch equal new p5. And then function. And x1. These. Oh, oh, wrong. Goes there. Now we have created a new instance of P5, and we have to get our functionality in here. So we will do P5 dot setup equal function. And we do the same with this. P5 to draw equal function. In here, we can take this. Now we just have to call it with P5 instead. And we do this. Again, with P5. We don't need the rest here. Gone with that. And we actually don't need this var either. So let's delete that. Now we can say, okay, let's go. Problem here is that P5 can't see inside the ball and the ball doesn't know that P5 is there. Which means when we call color and ellipse and width and height, we won't get anything. So this needs to take a variable or an argument. And we just take P5, same here, and here we will call bounce with P5, bounce will take the P5, and we'll call the width, and the height. See? And we also need to export this class, so export default class. Now we go back to sketch. 
here we call it the p5 same here p5 one thing is missing if you look in here it will says it will say it doesn't know what we are talking about it has the unexpected token export and it also says that we don't have the ball we don't know what the ball is here we have included the ball we don't need to gone with that and in the sketch we now need to import it so we can say so we say import ball from oh there we go ball.js and when we save it says with is is not desired with is not defined it's of course these doesn't know to know what this is. There we go. Now it works again. So in this video we have now used the ES6 module. We have rewritten the ball so it's E6 module 2. We exported the class. We recreated the sketch so we made an instance of P5 and made it work. In the next video I'm going to show you how to make more than one instance and actually use this for something else. If you like this video please hit like. If you would like to see more in the future please hit subscribe. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye.